Hey guys, this is Craig Migliaccio from AEC Service Tech, and today what we're going over are the differences between a direct ignition gas furnace and an intermittent pilot ignition gas furnace. So this is what the, the front of this combustion area looks like on this. And what you have is one, two, three, four burner tubes, and you have a hot surface igniter over here, and you may, on other furnaces, you may have a spark ignition in, instead of a hot surface ignition. And then over here, you have a flame rod. This is also known as a flame sensor, but this basically have alternating current uh, traveling into the flame. It's getting rectified, and then it gets over to the ground frame of the, the burner. And that's the flame rectification process where it changes from alternating current to, to direct current, but it's actually measured in microamps. So it's very, very small amount of direct current. And that's the flame proving process. So it needs to get the gas needs to be ignited over here and travel across each one of these pathways in order to get over here. And then you have your flame proving device here. Well, that's different than a pilot ignition gas furnace. And this right here is what the front of this furnace looks like. And since this is a smart valve on this one, what you have is a small 24 volt hot surface igniter. And then you have a small flame rod. And then you have your your termination right here for your pilot so this has to get lit right here first and you have to prove that there's a flame here before the gas valve will allow the main burners to light so you have to first light the pilot then it lights the main burners well if you have a problem over here on your main burners that's an issue you know so so the, your flame proving device isn't able to tell if these are completely rusted and you just have gas pouring out over here and, and not an actual flame and so you have things like a flame rollout switch right here you have another one right here some of these combustion chambers only have one and they might be a uh, a multi-poise unit where you can go horizontal left horizontal right upflow downflow and that's kind of more of a safety issue when you only have, say, one flame rollout switch on a furnace. Here's another pilot ignition assembly. And this is just a spark ignition. There's no hot surface igniter. And so you have your flame rod here, your little spark igniter here. It travels across over to this ground, which is actually the pilot tube termination. And it sparks right across here. It ignites the pilot. You're proving the flame basically through the flame rectification process. And if you want to learn more about that, check out the videos down in the description section below. But this is just another version I wanted to show you. And when you have a pilot ignition gas valve, you're going to have a, so a common, which is right here. And then this P is for your pilot. And then you also have your main valve. So you have two uh, chambers basically where your gas is going to be flowing and your first one is your pilot and then your second one is going to be for your main burners when you have a pilot ignition system you're going to have something like this which is a ignition module and this is going to be the flame proving process and the ignition control for the furnace so pilot ignition systems are on older furnaces and direct ignition is more on newer furnaces and package units that are that are outside and they usually the package units usually have spark ignition but you're going to have something like this on these older pilot ignition systems or you can have something like this smart valve where it has a ignition module integrated on top of the the actual gas valve so so this is this is a smart valve right here and this right here is a direct ignition but it's a spark and not a hot surface igniter so over here you have a two rod setup it sparks between there and then you have your burners and so basically you have your your gas valve allows the the main gas to to flow through the burners it ignites here it travels across the burners over to here and then you have your flame rod which is going to be helping to prove that there's a flame present and a spark ignition system can be found on a furnace that will be installed inside of a building or it's very popular on the on the package units outside because that type of ignition system tends to hold up a little bit better outside Next, we'll see an up-close view of the intermittent pilot ignition system as it's firing. So we'll see the pilot light first and then the main burners. We're also going to take a look at the direct ignition gas furnace, and we're going to see just the main burners light. So there's not going to be any pilot whatsoever over here. You just have a hot surface igniter, and then the gas valve is going to allow the gas through to the burners, and it's just going to directly ignite it. So there you see the pilot. And now you have full ignition.
and there you have your direct ignition. If you want to learn more about gas furnaces, make sure you check out the videos down in the description section below. Also make sure to check out our website over at acservicetech.com. We've got a bunch of quizzes there to test your knowledge. We've got thermostat wiring, we've got articles, quick tips, calculators, the podcast, just a bunch of different resources there for you to take advantage of. So hope you enjoyed yourself. We'll see you next time at AEC Service Tech Channel.